guy waved at me. He's a fan. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Get Real Vlogs, where being controversial is my only talent. Today I'm in Waters Elite, trying some pizza places around here. Never been to these places before, I'm really excited to see what Water Elite has in store for us today. So with that being said, let's start with our first place. Let's go. First stop is Ruck Pizza. And this is really hot. I'm surprised they still have slices being sold at this time of day. Because it's Almost, I think it's already seven o'clock, but I got a regular, oh, it's really hot. Cheese pizza, decent size, $2.70, not bad for a slice of pizza up here. I don't want it, I want it to cool down, but I don't, so one, two, three, four, take a bite, rate the score, Rusty's Pizza, really hot, here we go. I like when the undercrust is crunchy. It's a good slice of cheese. Nothing that'll blow your socks off. We're gonna give it like a 6.5 out of 10. Okay, I'm at WB Pizza. It's right across from Best Hot Dogs. Haven't had it yet. It's really close by. I uh, got a pepperoni slice, decent size. Four bucks though, so it better be worth four bucks. One, two, three, four. It's a light rate of score at WB Pizza. Right away, the undercrust has that like perfect crunch to it. Tastes good, lots of cheese. We're gonna give this like a 7.2 out of 10. That's the score. Actually, stop three technically, but stop two. Three Brothers Pizzeria. I asked inside if it was like a chain or if it was a locally owned place because that just sounds like a chain to me. I feel like there's millions of places called Brothers Pizza. Uh, but it, yeah, it's just a local place. I got a pepperoni slice this time. This one was actually $4, so we'll see how good it is compared to what we just had. This one, not as hot, which is good. Actually, I lied, it's pretty hot. So, one, two, three, four, take a bite, break the score. Three Brothers Pizzeria, Water Fleet, here we go. It's a lot thinner. Then Rusty's. It is a little bit greasy. I'm not a huge fan of the grease. The taste, I think, is better though. Mm -hmm. Hot. That's better than Rusty's. Not the best I've had around. A little bit too greasy for me. That's going to be like a 6.8 out of 10. Okay, so now we're at La Casa de Pizzeria. Um, walk in and I ask. There's so many pizzas out there, like, I'm not kidding, 20 to 25, I'm not even joking. It's already almost 7.30 and they still have pizza slices out, which is awesome. That makes me like them even more. I said, what do you recommend? And, like, all these people stood up. They were real well-mannered and had great service. And a guy recommended the Mediterranean pizza. Now, this is something I've never had before. I usually stick to regular pizza, but I like trying new things. This one's really crispy. Oh, it's hot. Gosh, I'm gonna have to take a bite off the plate like we did as kids. So, one, two, three, four. Take a bite, break the score. La Casa de Pizzeria. I'm not sure where they were from either. They sounded like they were Mediterranean, in my opinion. So, let's see how it tastes. Mmm. It's thick. I like that. I like thin crust, but this is like the perfect amount of thickness. Not like a Chicago style. Let me try the crust because it is really crunchy. The crunch, the crunch, the crust looks crunchy, but it's doughy in the middle, not too doughy. I really like that slice. I'm not used to that type of pizza. 
best so far today. I'm going to give it like a 7. For the service, we're going to give it like a 7.3 out of 10. We are at the original I Love New York Pizza here in Troy. My boss told me so many times to come here. My boss, Kyle, he said it's the best pizza all around. It's better than all of the I Love New York pizzas. And I said, what do they recommend? They gave me a baked ziti pizza, something I usually don't get either. And he also gave me some suggestions about this place in New York City called Cornette Pizza. I guess they have slices literally this big. Gotta go there soon. Car so, coming. there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm in the middle of the street, guys, just to let you know. And there are cars coming, but I'm still gonna do the review. Because everyone moves for Get Real Vlogs, I don't move for them. So, one, two, three, four, take a bite, rate the score, until I get hit by a car. Guy waved at me. He's a fan. This is different. I need one more bite. He just swerved when he saw me. Okay. Um, don't know how I feel about it. it tastes good. It tastes like a freaking big ziti, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to go back sometime soon and get like a slice I like to really know the taste and feel. Can you see me in the camera? Okay. So we're gonna get it. I need one more bite, guys. I'm not joking at all. We're gonna give it like a 7.5 out of 10. Pretty good. Okay, we're at Price Chopper. Everything's closed down. There's barely any pizza places open today. But that's okay because we're gonna end the vlog here. Before we end it, while I was leaving Troy, a homeless guy asked, he's like, do you have any spare change? I want something to eat. So I said, sure, I have a piece of pizza. I took one bite out of it. Do you want it? And he's like, do you have any money? I gave him five bucks. He's probably going to go spend it on drugs, but that's okay. We still love our homeless people. This has been Get Real Vlogs. Peace out, guys.